Hi there, my name is Janna Bugibaevna. Welcome to my course. Today we are going to talk about adjectives, especially the degrees of comparison of adjectives. If you are ready, let's begin. First of all, let me give you some information about adjectives. So, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives describe nouns. Therefore, adjectives gives us more information about a noun. For example, in this photo, Mark and Jane are carrying a chair. So, the chair is a noun. And if you, go, if you want to give more information about the noun, we can say Mark and Jane are carrying a heavy chair. So heavy is an adjective. It describes a chair. The adjective heavy, it describes the noun chair. Clear? The form of the adjective is the same for singular nouns and plural nouns. It's very important. Example. Jane is holding a red apple. Here, the noun is singular, apple. Adjective is red. Now, look at the second example. There are some red apples on the plate. So, you can see here, the noun is in a plural form, but adjective is the same within the first example. So, this sentence is wrong, incorrect, as this is not exist in English. So, let's turn to the degrees of comparison of adjectives. Let's look at the comparative adjectives. So, when we use comparative adjectives, we use comparative adjectives to compare two or more things, people or places. For example, the cat is smaller than the dog. So in green, we, su we see two things, animals, that we are comparing. And we are comparing the size, in fact. And we use then after the comparative adjective to say what we're comparing something with. Here. So the word then comes after the comparative adjective. And before the second thing we're comparing. So it separates the cat and dog. We also use comparative adjectives to compare one thing, person or place at different times. For example, this is last year, this is now. So the same person, but an, at different times. Jane is more active than last year. So we're comparing one person in the different times. We use then after the comparative adjective to say what time period we are comparing something with. And now let's look to the form of comparative adjectives. First of all, the rules for one-syllable adjectives. For most one-syllable adjectives, we add ER. For example, hard, harder, tall, taller, short, shorter, small, smaller. Example, Mr. Jones is taller than me. So notice, when we use a personal pronoun after comparative, we use an object personal pronoun, like me, you, her, him, it, us, them. Next, 
For one-syllable adjectives ending in letter E, we simply add the letter R. For example, nice, nicer, fine, finer, rare, rare. For example, gold is rarer than silver. Okay? For one-syllable adjectives ending in a consonant, vowel, and consonant, so we double in the last consonant and add ER. For example, big, bigger. Because uh, last letters, consonant, vowel, consonant, we add ER and the consonant is doubled. Fat, fatter. Hot, hotter. Thin, thinner. Here is an example. The weather in Spain is hotter than England. Clear? Turn to two-syllable adjectives. For most two-syllable adjectives, we use the word more plus adjective. For example, careful, it becomes more careful. Famous, more famous. Peaceful, more peaceful. Pleasant, more pleasant. Useful, more useful. Let me illustrate with example. I lost my keys yesterday. I need to be more careful. Two-syllable adjectives ending in letter Y. Well, we change the Y to I and add ER. Busy, busier. Easy, easier. Funny, funnier. Happy, happier. Jane is feeling happier than yesterday. Two syllable adjectives ending in ER, LE, or OW. We usually add ER, so these are exceptions. Clever, cleverer. Gentle, gentler. Narrow, narrower. Mark is cleverer than the other students. Adjectives with three or more syllables, we always use more plus adjective. For example, complicated, more complicated. Enjoyable, more enjoyable. Interesting, more interesting. For example, Jane thinks that skiing is more enjoyable than studying. Understandable? The most important thing is that some comparative adjectives are irregular, that do not follow rules at all. So you have to memorize them. Good, better, bad, worse, far, further or farther, old, older or elder and let's talk about superlative adjectives so when we use superlative adjectives we use superlative adjectives to compare one thing in a group with all of the other things in the group example mark is the tallest person in the family so there is a group of people and we're comparing one person, Mark, with all the other members of this group. The superlative is tallest. And we use the word the, the definite article, because we are referring to one specific personal thing. How to modify a superlative? One of the plus superlative plus plural noun. For example, Great Britain 
is one of the richest countries in the world. When we use this expression, the noun is in plural form. So this means that there are several very rich countries in the world, and Great Britain is one of those countries. Next, some of the, followed by superlative and followed by plural for noun. Example, New York, London, and Tokyo are some of the most expensive cities in the world. So, the meaning of the sentence, there are several very expensive cities in the world, and New York, London, and Tokyo are some of those cities. We can also modify a superlative with an ordinal number. So, what is ordinal number? So, let's have a look. So, see the difference? Cardinal number 1, ordinal number 1st. So, it refers to the order of the number. 2, 2nd, 3, 3rd, 4, 4th, and etc. For example, Mark is the tallest person in the family. Here, without ordinal number, but you want to describe this person. Here, the plus ordinal number plus superlative. Let's give an example with this structure. David is the second tallest person in the family. And Jane is the third tallest person in the family. We can also replace there with a possessive. Possessive plus superlative. For example, Jane is my best friend. Physics is her hardest exam. So here we can see possessive adjectives, my and her. Or we can say physics is Jane's hardest exam. This time we use the person's name. Let's look at the form. For most one-syllable adjectives, we add EST. Hard, hardest. Tall, tallest. Short, shortest. Small, smallest. Example, Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. For one-syllable adjectives ending in E, we add ST. Nice, nicest. Fine, finest. Rare, rarest. Jane is the nicest person in the office. For one-syllable adjectives ending in a consonant, vowel, and consonant, we double the last consonant and add EST. Big, biggest, fat, fattest, hot, hottest, thin, thinnest. Example, Spain is the hottest country in Europe. For most two-syllable adjectives, we use most plus adjective. Careful, most careful, famous, most famous, peaceful, most peaceful, pleasant, most pleasant, useful, most useful. This is the most peaceful swimming pool that I have ever seen. Two-syllable adjectives ending in Y we change the Y to I and add EST. Busy, busiest. Easy, easiest. Funny, funniest. Happy, happiest. Saturday is the busiest day of the week for shopping. Two syllable adjectives end in E R L E or O W, we usually add EST. Clever, cleverest. Gentle, gentlest. Narrow, narrowest. David is the cleverest boy in the class. With the long adjectives, adjectives with three or more syllables, we always use most plus adjective. Complicated, most complicated. Enjoyable, most enjoyable. Interesting, most interesting. This is the most interesting book that I have ever read. And some superlative adjectives are irregular. There are 
no rules and you have to memorize them. So two most common examples. So good, best, bad, worst. Example, he wants to be the best football player in the world. In my opinion, she is the worst actress in Hollywood. So these are more common irregular adjectives. So that is all. Thank you for your attention. See you.